the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Real Madrid against Liverpool. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. Real Madrid line up in a 4-3-3. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. That gets things running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishing, and, and he's a proper leader now, too. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Azar. Now the pass. Diaz to get on the end of this he's left his man and he's cut it out Milner Firmino Robertson where to from here great strength too strong for his opponent to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Liverpool push both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Marcelo, steered out wide. Well played, he saw that coming. He's come loose. And it's hoisted clear. Milner plays it forward. Mane. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. That's our Played out to the wing. It's got through to him. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Milner, Robertson tries to get it forward quickly. Liverpool getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Over to the left, Mane. Up to meet it! Harmlessly behind. Mohamed Salah really has shown an example of why indecision is fatal. Modric. And it's Azar. Marco Asensio goes up and over. Flings it across, and he's there to cut it out. Robertson. 
Mane. Looks like a good ball through. Nacho passes it through. Real chance to break. Bale. Determined run, but equally determined piece of defending. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So your views on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Real Madrid head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight cage again. Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. The action has already resumed here. Real Madrid pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half time. They've been lackluster and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. It has to spark a reaction. Marseille. Play for a throw. Diaz. Full tilt down the left. Jordan Henderson looks to clip it forward. And it's Alexander Arnold. Marcelo. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of... Goes for goal! It's broken loose! Real Madrid shoots! It's there! The breakthrough arrives at last! Given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Real Madrid take the lead. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency, and they can get right back into this. Played back in, and Mane! Oh, didn't catch it right. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. That's our Brings the ball forward. Looks to slip it through. Bale with the ball through. Alexander Arnold. That'll be a throw. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. to the flank, now it's Roberto Firmino, massive leap, tremendous from Mane, Liverpool are all square, great header, made it look easy, well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net, I think when it comes to the aerial department this fella is definitely no slouch. Liverpool look as though they're about to make a change. Liverpool at the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well matched and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Played out to the wing. Bro! 
Ireland. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. change that was in the offing last one allowed well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake i think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and i think that's happened in this case real madrid take the lead oh this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart it's an in in for the follow-up and he's poked it home Liverpool are all square. Courtois did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Quite a thriller this one's become. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Marcelo needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. That's the throw. That could so easily have gone in, it didn't, and the 90 minutes are up. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find a winner. They just cancelled each other out. Fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. And if you're just back, the action is back on the way already. Real Madrid pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here, where the consequences are still more serious? Firmino hits it! Keita gets it back. In for the follow-up! And somehow he managed to miss it. Keita has delivered a really costly miss. It could have been their last chance to win it. Isco is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Nacho gets into the right position to intercept. Gone for a throw in. Liverpool have decided now is the time to make their final change. Lucas Vasquez. Reached the midway point in extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. And we're off for the final time. It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Firmino must have made the worst possible choice there. It was crying it. Has a pop! Goal! Real Madrid! And that could be a huge goal! You've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. 
Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Madrid go into the lead. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. Going through as a swing at it. Saved only by poor finishing. Well, talking about a man on a mission, that was a super effort. Forward it goes. And it's Gomez. Real Madrid need to hold on for a few more moments. Goal kick. No, no, I stand corrected. It's a corner. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation. And it needs to be any time now, really. And that will be the final act. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Your reflections then, Jim.